Hi everybody. Okay, so today I'm going to do a hair tutorial on how to straighten short hair with my new me flat iron. I got the vintage. I guess there's no right or wrong way to do that. Oh, and now it's warm enough. I put it at about 300 because my hair is fairly fine. Um, so I've washed my hair. I put heat protectant in it. Um, and I also put... Um, this Nick Chavez soft flocker. I love this stuff. So many people, a lot of people like it. Some people have complained about it, saying leaves are hair greasy, blah, blah, blah. I put literally a pea-sized amount in my hand and put it in my hair when it's wet. It also works once your hair is dry. Um, I could see it working better for long hair. I'm missing my longer hair now. I'm gonna get my cat off the counter so she doesn't get burned. <laughs> I could see it working better in long hair, but when it's dry, again, just like a pea-sized amount for, say, this, this length of hair, so maybe a little bit more for longer hair, um, you rub it between your hands, put your hair upside down, and just run your hands through, get the roots, and then you flip your hair back up, and it gives it volume and everything. So my hair, I just put this in. My heat protectant I use is the Alterna Anti-Breakage. It's got... Um, organic bamboo and Kendall oil uh, for strong sleek frizz free hair. Um, I found this is pretty good. Um, I put about like it's got one of these spray things but it comes out really thick. I think those are so stupid so you spray and you got like clumps in your hair it makes no sense to me. So what I do is I spray it into my hand about five sprays rub it between my hands and then I run it through my hair. And then I put my soft flocker in and then I blow dried my hair. I blow dry it upside down to get some lift at my roots until it's damp um, then I flip it back and then I blow dry it forward um, from here on uh, so I can get the bangs that are kind of more in my face that's the way I found works for me so now I'm going to start I'm going to section my hair I usually do it just above my glasses. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take my comb. I may look over here because the mirror's over here. I find it hard to uh, <laughs> do my hair looking at myself in the phone. I'm scared I'm gonna burn myself. This is my first time genuinely straightening my hair with the new me flat iron. The In Vogue, I love it. The, I have the In Vogue titanium one and I love it. Um, the difference with this one is um, it's heavier, obviously. It's a little bit thicker, so it might be good for thicker hair. Um, downside is it tends to pull my hair a bit more, I've noticed. section up this little bit. I have found the key to properly straightening your hair, ladies, is to just go slow. I see a lot of people do it and they're like, one, two, three, four, five, and they're going really fast. It's like, well, no wonder you got to do it five times. And take your time a little bit. this side. I don't know why I just took that down. <laughs> Duh. Alright. Work 
works really nicely. I like this iron. I do prefer the invoke though, just because it's, um, I think it's a little faster. It's smoother going through my hair. I think it would be easier to curl my hair with the invoke um, because it's smoother. section. I'm going to leave my bangs out. I kind of, the way I cut them, I've started cutting them myself. Um, I take them as a triangle, so I'm just going to put them here for now. So I will do those separately. Now I will do the last layer of hair up here. Looks pretty good. Okay, now my bangs. I like them to fall this way. So I saw somebody else do this on uh, YouTube. So this is the way I do it, and it works. You flat iron them the opposite direction. Go this way, and put them over here. And I will do this one. flat iron it as though I was putting it on the other side pull it over and finally this piece and pull it over right. brush it over you see it gives you a fairly good side swept bang when you do it that way okay now, the back of my hair is pretty short. I don't know. I'll turn around so you can see. So what I do is I just take the long part up here, take the flat iron, curve it like this, and pull it down because I like it to be a little curved in the back. And then I'll just feel in the back. Maybe I'll do it so you guys can see. Make sure you can see. Just do it like that. Not as precise with the back, it's still pretty short. I found the invoke was much better at getting the back part here it's a bit thinner and it's more lightweight. Like I can feel my arm getting tired right now. I'm doing this. This one is heavier. I'll just do that. And that's pretty much it. And then I'll spray it and I'm good to go. Now, while I'm at it, maybe I'll uh, see how this curls. Let's see. So to curl, I would twist it like this, grab the hair on the other end, and just pull down. Yeah, It doesn't go very smoothly, and that's what I don't like about this one. The In Vogue um, was pretty smooth going through my hair like that. It gave me a better curl. This one, it kind of tugs. Um, and I got the three sunset, so the mini of this um, is terrible. 
I hated it. It totally tugged my hair, even when I was straightening it. This one goes through pretty smoothly when you're just straightening it. I didn't find it that good for trying to curl it because it tugs on your hair too much. Um, the mini, it tugged on my hair totally. I didn't like it at all. I will not use the mini. I thought it'd be good because I have short hair. No. Also, you can't adjust the temperature on it. So it goes to 410, which is terrible for my hair. It's frying my hair if I use that. Um, so I won't be using the mini and I personally don't recommend it. So that's my uh, tutorial and I guess mini review on this. Overall, I would recommend this iron. Um, it's pretty good. It's a little heavy for me, but I have carpal tunnel, so the in vogue is better for me. Uh, it also is smoother, it's more lightweight. I just like everything about the in vogue better. Here, I've got it here, I'll just show you. This one. It's bigger lengthwise, but it's way, way lighter, and it goes through here so smoothly. It's so lightweight, I love it. So, But, you know, this one might be good. Uh, if you don't have wrist issues like I do, it does a good job of straightening your hair. As you can see, it works well. Um, my hair feels nice and soft and shiny, so it does what it's supposed to do. Um, and I guess that's it. If you have any comments, let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.